Hello, everyone. Welcome to our February membership meeting. I'm Rita Verde, your board president. I would like to remind you about an artist master list. If you haven't already, refer to our website and put your information in on that artist master list. It's very simple to do. All you have to do is put your name, your medium, uh, the contact information that you have. And if you know of other artists that uh, would like to have their name uh, and information put onto this master list, please let them know. Next, I have the pleasure of giving a uh, shout out and congratulations to the following artists who were selected to show in the Board of Supervisors Chamber Show. That is Tony Best, Elaine Anderson, Terry Ogden, Ed Reveles, Joy Collier, and Nanette Rhodes. We are so excited to have these wonderful artists uh, represented and uh, congratulated in this way. Congratulations to Stevie Mejia Daniels for earning the Board of Supervisors Mural Commission. She is the wife of our Executive Director, Ampelio Mejia. So uh, we are so proud of her and Stevie, congratulations. That is awesome. What an awesome honor. Also, if you have any announcements, please submit them to hello at artsconsortium.org. Now it gives me pleasure to introduce our presenter for the month, who is Iden Santos. She belongs to an organization called Comisión Honorífica Mexicana Americana. And in her presentation today, she will be telling you about the opportunities that artists uh, are provided through this organization. We are... Um, excited to hear what she has to say. Hi, welcome everybody to the Arts Consortium membership meeting. My name is Eden Santos. I am the secretary on the board of directors of Comisión Honorífica Mexicana Americana, which is a nonprofit uh, organization based in Puerto California. It promotes the socioeconomic welfare and cultural awareness so when I learned about Comisión Honorífica, I got really excited because that was something that connected me with my identity. As I started just showing up as a volunteer, helping with any event that they had during the year. And now I'm practically sharing responsibility for part of like the artwork that we do. We are a working board which means we take care of everything. Since cleaning our community center, our warehouse, doing all the logistics, the paperwork to uh, achieve or realize all our events. We do not receive funding from the government nor other organization. Well, Comisión Honorífica is an organization that is active the entire year promoting cultural events, and which are Cinco de Mayo, 16 de Septiembre, Dia de Muertos and Posadas Navideñas. Those are our main events during the entire year. All the events that are done by Comisión Honorífica are free. We also target that community of East Porterville, which is the one that don't really have access to many cultural events. My main task is to make sure that we have uh, part of the, the visual work. For example, during Cinco de Mayo, my main assignment is to make sure that the stage for that scholarship pageant is pretty, uh, that we have our float for our royalty or the Cinco de Mayo Queen, that uh, maybe the stage of the parade is also presentable. I also collaborate with my sister to make sure that we have the awards for the Cinco de Mayo royalty. September 16th, is the same thing. Make sure that we have like the visual part like work for the entire celebration. We also host a Reboso fashion show. We make all the, the piñatas, <laughs> we uh, all the decorations at the community center. We're good recyclers. <laughs> we recycle all kinds of like paper, plastic, styrofoam, the sawdust and we just dyed that to create like different patterns uh, during the idea of the muertos. The main thing that is <laughs> that super recyclable are our floats. We have like this awesome reenactment of the Battle of Puebla, which I thought <laughs> for me it, it was amazing because something that it's just like passing by, it's maybe like one minute, it's really fast, but you, the content is really good. And then they get the idea, oh, it was the Battle of Puebla. Oh, who were like the participants? Oh, it was the French government. It was like the Mexican side. 
And what happened? So it, it's just a flood that says a lot, and that implies a lot of work. Having the parade in the city of Porterville is also a way to educate our own community. We can see like different celebrations of Cinco de Mayo through the state, the country, but it's you. What you get is many Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> what we are trying to do is give you part of like that history. What happened? People think that it's like our Independence Day. It's not the Mexican Independence Day. Uh, but we start celebrating Cinco de Mayo because it was a battle that meant a lot for us. Uh, we fought or we defeated the French government. And during that time, our army was really poor. They didn't really have weapons. When the French army came to uh, Mexico, they have trailers of food, wine, armory, and it was this pride, this sense of identity that said, well, what else can we do? We're just going to defeat the French army. And then we won. <laughs> so, working with the visual work or the crafting, there is an opportunity to also get people involved. If you're interested to access us in any of our events, just contact us, honestly. We really appreciate like any creative ideas. Maybe you know how to work with wood, house paint, uh, metal. If you have like some skills like working with materials, just show up. You can contact us uh, through uh, Facebook. Um, I try to reply as soon as possible. Through my Instagram, you can reach me at ed3n.santos. It will be really appreciated. Thank you.